a smart collection and it's going to be for collars and leashes for cats. So I see that you changed that one, which is cool. So right now this is a, a manual collection. Okay, so products collections. Collars and leashes for cats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this manual collection. I'm going to go ahead and click on collections again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click, open it up a new tab. And I go over here and I'm going to go ahead and click on collections and click on create collection. And then what I'm going to do is copy the same name, put it here. Let me go back over to the old one, copy all my information, put it in here. Okay, I'm going to leave it as an automated collection. All right. And then um, you can decide whether you, how you want the tags to be, right? So, or if you're going to do it by product type, or if you're going to do it by um, tag when you make the smart collection. If you notice on this URL, it's colors leashes for cats. And then if I go over here, and you'll see cat, cat supplies. Click on this guy, collars leashes for cats. Okay, so now when I create this smart collection, it's probably going to put a number one at the end. So if I scroll down here, and right now it says collars, leashes for cats, but it's probably not going to let me keep that. So I'm going to um, set this up by uh, product tag is equal to, um, let me grab the first product over here. So I'm going to grab this product, right click on it, go over here, and go to the product itself. And you probably want to do it, I think that's why you were setting up the um, product types, right? So pet collars and harnesses, right? Um, if I do pet collars and harnesses, that's pretty generic. It's not cat, right? So I want to use this one as the product type. And then I'm going to go back over here to the, um, sorry, to the smart collection. I'm going to say product type is equal to, right? Or is not equal to or contains. Whatever, you could put that. Collars and leashes, cat collars and leashes. Actually, I'm gonna put it as equal to, because that's what you're putting in, is cat. And then I'm gonna also put any condition, right? So that if it's equal to that, or if it's tagged. And then I'm gonna put in a tag here too, just to make your life easier, right? So, if the tag is equal to, and then let me find that product. So there's a product, and then I had ed added a tag earlier called cat collars to this one. So cat collars, right? Cat collars and leashes. So the product tag has to be cat collars, or, or can be cat collars also, right? So underneath my smart collection, I'm gonna type in cat collars, okay, there it is. All right, so now if it's a product type or if the tag, right, it'll throw products in here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select save. So that's gonna save the collection. And then if I scroll down, I'm gonna see some products coming on here now. So anything with cat collar, cat collar. So anything that you have the product type of cat, right? Cat collar, cat leash. So you already have a lot of that stuff for the product types is pulling it in already, which is cool. Good job, boom, 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 cat collar, cat collar. So notice what this URL did, right? So it ended up creating it so it's a dash one now. So if I go back over to the collections, I'll click on collections, and you're gonna see it says cat collar. This is my smart collection because it's got my product conditions. And then this is my manual one. So I can do two things. One is I can change this to be something else or I can deactivate this, right? So I probably wanna click on this guy and then I wanna go into manage just, just for this one. The other ones you can delete when you feel comfortable with it. But you're gonna go ahead and go ahead and click on manage and I'm gonna take them off all of these point of sale stores, okay? Boom, boom. I take them off all this guy. And hit done. So now that I did that, I'm going to select save. So on the front end, now I have this URL here, right? So if I go over to the smart collection and I'm going to change my URL to be this guy, let's see what it does. Click save. Handle has already been taken. So the handle for this, what I mean by handle, let 
Which one did I do? Yeah, okay. So the handle is this thing, collars and leashes for cats, right? So the best thing for me to do would be, be to actually delete this category, okay? So that you don't have the handle issue. So I'd probably recommend you do it that way and then create your smart collections, right? So I'm gonna do that just for this product, this one. You have some other, you have 17 products on here and then see what the smart one has. So the smart collection has 16. So it's missing one, whatever, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I have this disabled right now. So if I change, just change this, URL right here. It's gonna make a forwarder, and I don't want that because it's gonna mess up the links and everything. So I'm gonna to wanna to delete the collection. So I'm gonna go ahead, this can't be undone, delete collection. So now I just have cat collars and leashes. I'll scroll down here, and then I need to change this to be that, it's like save. And now I'll go back onto the front end of the store. The reason why I did that is so that I wouldn't mess up any links. So let's see if it's still linked here, cat supplies. And see, it took it out of the menu because that link was to that old page. So you're gonna have to go into the navigation items and you're gonna have to re-add, you're gonna have to re-add this. So you have to go back into online store, navigation, Main menu, cat supplies, right? It's not in there. There's my collection. Cats and leashes for cats, whatever. Puts it at the bottom. I'm going to have to drag it to where I want it, right there, and save. So now, I go back to the front end of the site. I'll refresh, cat, cat supplies. It's not loaded yet, because you gotta wait for Shopify's cache to catch up. Give it a few seconds. Not yet. And there it is. So now you have the same URL, and it's really important you create these same URLs, the same, you call it the same exact names, right? Collars and leashes for cats. You call it exactly the same, or otherwise you can mess up some of your search engine stuff, okay? So you just gotta be careful. So now technically, this one is a automated collection. So if you add anything into your, um, your tag or your product type, it's gonna now put it in there. So you're gonna have to do that and rebuild each of those as you go through and do those. That's the correct way to do it so that you don't um, um, break the site completely. So always remember, you're gonna create the smart collection, you can delete the old manual collection, right? You're gonna put your information in there and how you want the stuff to be, whether it's a tag or a type, and then you're gonna to want to add it back to the navigation menu because it is gonna remove that old navigation item from where it is.